What is going on? We have three valve covers here. And this is what spot, sparked my curiosity. About two or three months ago, I wanted to do a PCV, positive crankcase ventilation valve, change on my wife's 2006 GMC Sierra. Well, I went to O'Reilly's and I got a PCV valve. This is what they gave me. It's okay. And I came home and I, it was a valve cover just like this. And I said, oh, well, that looks like it's stuck in there. And I took a little pliers and I tried wiggling it. And I took the old one. And I said, well, shoot, that's nowhere even near right. Then we started doing some form searching. And these, you're supposed to just replace the whole valve cover. So I'm like, well, that's stupid. I mean, it's like a hundred and something bucks, right? So now we got the 4.8 and it's not a daily driver. It is a weekend warrior street strip something. And it had me curious if this thing has an internal PCV valve, then my catch can that is right here isn't doing its job. I need it to ventilate uh, straight into the catch can that's going to be here. I have them. I have two, I got a hose coming around and it comes all the way around and it grabs it here. And we have two hoses and turn our catch cam. So I'm like, well, this valve cover might not even be doing anything. So then I was like, I have a spare valve cover. Let me grab it. This is like just the passenger side valve cover on your typical, like later, uh, what do you want to call it? Probably early 2000s. After they got away from this style valve cover, my... O2 Trans Am had this, which is what this fits actually, you see. Well, out of all this, like putting parts together, I decided to find this valve, or what I thought was a valve. Now look, it ain't nothing but a straight hole. See that? There ain't nothing in it. It ain't nothing but metering air. I said, whoa, well, that's interesting. Okay, this ain't nothing but metering air through this little hole here. What is this doing? So I had took an old valve cover that was in my attic or my shelf and I ground the rivets back and I pulled it back just to see all we have is a baffling and a nipple. Actually, this was a nipple that came out. Not that it matters, but that's all it is. It is nothing but metered air that's more permanent. So it's like, Okay, well now I want to make this hole larger. So that's what I did. I um, I put this one to the side and I found this one was clogged with rust too. So it wasn't even doing nothing. It actually had dirt and debris rust in it. So which it was, it was put, you know, in a dirty location. So not that surprising, but it's like, well, it even brings more doubt to that situation. So I took... My good valve cover, I removed the our gasket, I removed the closest bolt that had rubber, I took our map gas, and I started just applying heat. And with a pair of vice grips and slowly working it, I did deform it a little bit. You can see it ain't perfectly around, but I can probably bend that back. Heat, a little bit of tapping, and just slow wiggle, it broke loose. And you can see it is clean, but we're going to go ahead and enlarge this orifice so it's actually ventilating uh, more properly. Because we're not applying a suction on here with vacuum. The only thing we're doing is uh, just the air, the blow-by from the engine just giving it a place to go. So anyways, if you ever wondered what is under your valve cover, there you go. So I don't know what to say if you have like your older vehicle and you're worrying about its PCV system, uh, what to tell you, because really, if you just blew it out, that would work. But if you did have trash, then you potentially could blow it right, right back in here. So, but it's not like your traditional PVC valve where you would shake it and it got a check ball in it. It is nothing but a metered orifice. So anyways, I hope that helps somebody. It was kind of cool. Learn something new.